Hello everyone, welcome to another one of these collection videos. This was the second place winner in the last poll that I did. Didn't put up a new poll, so I decided just to go ahead and do this one. And as usual, talk a little bit about the show and my history with it, and then get more into the collection. As you can see by the background, talking about Battlestar Galactica, we have two of the hardcover novelizations worked on by Richard Hatch and various authors, and the CED release of the movie version of the first portion of Battlestar Galactica, that theatrical release that's been put on just about every format. I grew up with that on VHS. We'll be talking about that and the remake series, this big Blu-ray box set today. As far as Battlestar Galactica, I started with reruns of Battlestar Galactica I think it was in the early days of the Sci-Fi Channel. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure that's where it was growing up in the 90s watching reruns of that. And that movie portion of Battlestar Galactica, of the beginning of that series, I watched many times on VHS. And that was, you know, that I have a particular fondness for that version of the original Battlestar Galactica because that is the one I watched over and over again on VHS and the rest of the series up until DVD and streaming and things like that, I only saw in reruns in whatever various, you know, random order a lot of the episodes were in. And then came the remake series on the Sci-Fi Channel in the early 2000s. And that's one that I have a little bit of mixed feelings on. I love it, but there are a few things that I don't like about it. Uh, in, in, in between the two, I know there's a big divide between people who like the original more, people who like the remake more, and I'm completely on the fence because they are so different. The remake series has better writing overall. It is a more gritty, violent, many ways realistic depiction of this plotline of the near extinction of humanity on the colonies and just fighting for survival and trying to make their way to this mythical earth and trying to find salvation and then keep the species alive. It's a very, very dark storyline. It's one of my favorites. And that whole concept of being kind of alone on your own and struggling to survive, I always wished that uh, Star Trek Voyager, which is one of my favorite shows, had dealt a little bit more like with that portion of the way that story was set up. You know, aside from one popular two-parter, it didn't quite go in the direction as I, you know, always hoped it would have, because I love this concept. It's one of my favorite science fiction concepts for a TV series, so I love the way the new series handled that, and it is a much more mature, but also depressing version of this idea, and in many ways better. But the things I don't like about it are I wasn't as big of a fan of where the series went in its last couple of seasons. In the miniseries, season one, season two, season three I like a little bit less, and season four I'm kind of mixed on, uh, that type of thing. And as much as it is, I think, overall the better show by far, with its depiction of this concept and the way it's put together, and uh, the writing is clearly superior overall, it's not the kind of show that I can just put on an episode and watch just one random episode. It's not that type of thing because of the style of storytelling that is really more geared towards one long narrative from beginning to end rather than a more episodic nature and because it is a more gritty, violent storytelling deals with you know even things as heavy as rape and the aspects like that that would realistically be topics you are going to explore in this universe and it does a fantastic job with it but because of that it's not a show that i can just you know i want to watch you know an episode of a fun you know science fiction series for an hour i can't do that with this but the original series i can so the original is superior in that way that i've seen it far more you know, times than the remake series overall. Like, I've seen every episode of the original Battlestar at least ten times. The remake series probably three times at most. More like two towards the end of the show. 
So it really depends on my mood. They're kind of, they're very, very different shows. And I think if I had to pick a favorite, I'd say the miniseries and the first two seasons of this remake series. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some stuff out of this box set. This is one of many different Blu-ray box sets that you can get of this series. But I'd say the, the miniseries and the first two seasons of this that's my favorite, Battlestar Galactica overall, if I had to pick something. Then I'd go with the original series, and then I'd go with the rest of the remake series, and the various spin-offs and movies, you have The Plan, there's Razor, Caprica, all kinds of stuff. And the only thing I haven't mentioned is Battlestar Galactica 1980. I don't own that, and it's one of those shows that it has one amazing episode with the original Starbuck, but the rest of the show is just kind of silly, uh, and not really one I'd rewatch over and over again. And I wouldn't spend the money on an entire you know, little DVD set for one episode, so that I do not have. But yeah, getting into the collection, obviously for the remake series, we have the entire series on this nice Blu-ray set. Uh, again, it's an amazing show. I just think that where it took itself in the last two seasons wasn't as strong as the beginning of the series and the and the necessary you know heavy nature of the storytelling means it's just not the type of show that you can very casually watch it's one that as i've watched it it's more of i start at the beginning and slowly over a course of several months rewatch the whole thing so you know in many ways this is the superior show but the original is more fun, even though it has some issues with storytelling, it didn't take itself as seriously as it probably should have in some respects. The, you know, addition of, it's one of those shows that adds the child and the silly animal type creature to attract children, and they shouldn't have been there. They kind of lower the whole show. So many, uh, just about every show that I can think of that tried to attract a wide audience did that very rarely works you, you don't need it so like you don't need that right there and <laughs> the rest of the show probably would have been better and there are some things that are a little more silly than they should have been but that's also part of the charm for the series for me and i just think it's very well done it's a lot of fun great to watch i have the ced release of that movie version of the beginning portion of the story you know basically the you know two hours uh, because that is the portion of the story I'm most familiar with because I watch it over and over again. A lot of fun. I have that on CED, the Betamax release. It's included on this DVD set with Flash Gordon, The Last Starfighter, and Dune. And I recently picked up the 35th anniversary edition of that on Blu-ray. So yeah, I'm a big fan of that two-hour movie cut of the beginning of the original Battlestar Galactica series. I've watched that over and over again over the years. And then the complete series collection on DVD of the original. And for the remake series, I also have my favorite way of watching the miniseries and first season, the HD DVD set, one of very few TV shows that had full seasons on HD, DVD, not a lot of TV shows on the format. This is one of the few, and this is a really cool set, and if I'm going to watch the miniseries in the first season, I'm usually going to watch that version over the Blu-ray, and then the rest of the series more on Blu-ray. So that is a look at our Battlestar Galactica franchise collection. Great sci-fi franchise. Really enjoy the original and the remake for very different reasons. They're completely different shows, and again, it just depends what kind of mood I'm in. I do think the first half, roughly, of the remake series is the better version of this tale. Then it doesn't hold up quite as much in the second half. The other issue with the remake series of Battlestar Galactica, as amazing as it is, especially in the beginning, as I said, that uh, that's what I like most, I always had this little bit of a dislike toward it that has gone away as years have gone by, but when it originally aired, I always had some, this dislike of it in some ways because of the effect that it had in the wake of this series. 
it's amazing and I've grown to love it more and more as time has grown gone on but you know there is still that frustration with what happened in the wake of the series because it was received so well so much science fiction since then has really tried to have the feeling and the look and the you know, model itself after this version of Battlestar Galactica and it's a big reason why it's become harder and harder in this you know new century to find just fun science fiction rather than just serious and you know, just dour and and dramatic it's difficult to find quality fun science fiction and just lighthearted fun it, that, there's not a lot out there compared to what there used to be and so that can be a good thing I love very serious science fiction but I don't want that to be all there is and that affected a lot of franchises as well you know, I love the Stargate franchise I'll be doing a collection video of that pretty soon but I can't stand Stargate Universe I absolutely hated that show and a lot of it was it was really really trying to look and feel like a Battlestar Galactica it was beyond obvious to where it was just ridiculous it didn't feel like Stargate it felt like Stargate trying to be Battlestar Galactica and it was it was abysmal tank the whole franchise for a reason so it just goes to show you there can be some negative repercussions of having a brilliant successful series I love Battlestar Galactica um, there's been talks of a new version of the series coming out eventually We'll see what happens there and how it goes. I really hope that it's kind of a blend. That would be my perfect Battlestar Galactica because between the two, like this ha is some of the best writing in its early seasons of any science fiction and of its era. And the action sequences are incredibly well done. I love the characters. Uh, the, the new Starbuck, I'm gonna pick over the old Starbuck like every single day. Uh, just there are certain characters I love. I love Od uh, you know, Adama is better in this as well. But there are things about the original I like better. I do like to just kind of have fun sometimes with my science fiction, not always be so serious. And so something that's more like a mix would be, I think, the perfect Battlestar Galactica. So we'll see what happens.